because this is uh, our community live showing on Channel 31 Melbourne. Uh, and today I've got someone by my side. I'd like him to introduce himself. Hello. Hi, John Delavance. I'm the Vice President of the Universal Peace Federation here in Australia. I live in Melbourne, but uh, I'm the president, Vice President in Australia. So what uh, can you tell us about today's seminar and the awardees? Okay. Look, we had uh, a peace building seminar for leadership uh, training. Uh, so basically the fundamental principles of peace are two things. One is that we live for the sake of others. Any leaders that were, were able to build peace were always the ones that lived for the sake of others. The other one is they were driven by values. At this stage in Australia and in our policy, we're facing challenges to values. So there's a real crisis of values in Australia. So these peace building seminars really have their heart and spirit in raising the spirit of leaders to serve their communities, to, to serve others, and to be values driven. And uh, what do you think uh, the community, the world at large need to do to reinstate peace in the world generally. Uh, we can see terrorism going on from uh, uh, Africa, Middle East, and crossing to different parts of the world. What is your peace message? The peace message is really quite simple. We need two revolutions. We need a revolution from selfishness to unselfishness. So the leadership of our country or the leadership in any organization, whether it's a community organization, they have to do it from the position of love and from the position of service. It doesn't matter what faith tradition you're from. All faith traditions ultimately have their core is love and, and living for the sake of others. So we have to change the thinking. As Dr. King once said, that if you change your attitude towards your brother, everything changes. How we treat each other, how we love each other. And the second thing is we need a revolution in the change of values. Our values have become very materialistic, and we need to come back, if you like, to spiritual values, to values, religious values, belief in God, in which we can begin to do the transformation of bringing our, you know, the abundance wealth that we have in this country, and that we can learn to use in material things, but to bring in a spiritual dimension to that. So in conclusion, what really is uh, UPF all about and what has been the achievement so far and the connection with United Nations? Okay, well UPF is, is an international non-governmental organization. We are in around 150 countries in the world and we have proudly uh, the consultative status uh, with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. Our goal is to promote United Nations goal, development goals, and to support the UN in its peace building around the world. Our achievements are that in Australia we have over a thousand ambassadors for peace. Today uh, we indicted, we put, brought into our, our group of ambassadors for peace four more new ambassadors for peace, including the gentleman who's here interviewing me as an ambassador for peace. Yes, thanks. And these are individuals that really have shown exemplary heart and love in their community and we recognize through this through the Ambassador for Peace Award. So at the moment, Australia is building, the, Uni the Universal Peace Federation is also building the Victorian Peace Council, which is an interfaith, interdisciplinary, professional board of people who will look at how we can build peace within our own society, social cohesion in Australia, but also around the world. Thank you, And sir. in our region. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Wow, you guys look alike. Yes, yes we're twins. Oh. Identical twins. Yeah. Identical twins. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and what's your name? Can you introduce um, yourself? Hi, I'm Bianca Joyce. And you? I'm Monique Joyce. Okay. Congratulations uh, for your award and recognition Thank Thank you. as yeah. an ambassador for peace today. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, can you just uh, tell viewers? what you do in the community and your role and what led to this recognition? Sure, well, um, my, a bit of my um, history, I suppose, is that I, Bianca and I studied together. We've always had a real passion for 
representing and speaking on behalf of and advocating on behalf of people that are less fortunate. So that led to our first um, degree which we did together which was in criminal justice and criminology because we really wanted to understand how marginalised groups get represented in the justice system. Um, from there I went on to do my law degree which I've just finished and I hope to practice in human rights law. And we also team lead together at a homeless charity, which, you know, we, what we do is we go out and do um, some outreach and provide hands-on service to those in need. And I think Bianca can um, explain that a bit more. Yeah, later. yeah, yeah. Uh, Bianca, how, yeah. Yeah, how do you feel today and uh, what uh, 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 motivates the great organization uh, to recognize you? Today? Um, well, I'm really honoured to receive this award. Firstly, I'm really, really humbled and really honoured and it's even more special to, to share it with my sister. Um, me and my sister do a lot of work within the community. Um, I work with the a young homeless community um, and we do outreach support with a charity called Anonymous X where we go to people who are sleeping rough on the streets and provide donations, support and um, emotional support. So uh, we're really, really passionate about helping those who really need it, for helping those pe people who are disadvantaged um, and are unable sometimes to, to have their voice heard. Um, so within that, we, we do a lot of work together within different organisations within the community. And to be acknowledged for the work we do is really, um, is a real honour for us because we don't do it for recognition, we do it because we love it. And so now what is the great uh, challenge ahead now that you are now an ambassador for peace? What are you looking at? What we're looking to do, I think, is to continue trying to um, make, you know, create awareness around what's happening to all marginalised groups in the community yeah. and just be advocates for those that don't have a voice and, and make a, con a contribution to, to making this society more pos positive and, um, you know, creating an opportunity for peace to kind of flow through from us into the hands of others. And you? Think, I think for sure it's around um, us um, being the example of what we want in the world, you know. Our favourite quote is, be the change you want to see in the world. And for us it's about living what we want this world to be. So being advocates for people that need it, people that don't have the opportunity to speak for themselves, living the right way, um, living humbly, uh, you know, respecting everyone, respecting each other, and really staying hopeful that the world can be a better place for everyone. And we're going to do our part yeah. to really get that to happen. We are going to do that. Yeah. That's our hope. And we just, we really just want to, you know, inspire people yeah. and let them know that they, you know, never underestimate your ability to make a difference. Yeah. Every single person in this world can make a positive change, a positive contribution to society, and together we can really create something amazing and something positive. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about uh, tell the viewers about your recent uh, 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 travel event to the United Nations event in uh, the U.S. Yeah. Um, just last month, I represented Women's Federation for World Peace Oceania at the um, Commission on the Status of Women at the United Nations headquarters in New York, and. Um, the role of this commission was to focus on um, gender equality and empowering all women and girls with a focus on ending violence against women as a whole. So it was really, it was one of the greatest things I've ever done and I, I mean, it's really, really inspired and really grateful for the opportunity through Women's Federation and it just inspired me more to see world leaders come together to make the world better and that just, I mean, I was passionate before but I'm extremely passionate now. And just being there, it, it can happen. So next year, the two of us will hopefully have the opportunity to be there again at the UN together, um, standing together with a real hope to be the voices for the people that need it. So that's the goal. Yeah, so now what is, in conclusion, what is your peace message uh, to the world generally? As ambassador for peace? I think, the, like I mentioned before, never ever underestimate your ability to make a difference. You know, it's really important to love one another, help each other and be the example, you know, live a positive life filled with love and, and share that with everyone. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. um, our message as ambassadors for peace, treat each other with love, treat each other with respect, help each other. 
you know help each other in whatever way you can and just never underestimate the power of good and everyone has it and if we all come together we can really make this world better so let's gather and do that yeah yeah and uh, now i just want to really uh, be sincere with you this is my first time my first opportunity interviewing since my media work for the past 26 years my media experience standing in between two identical twins <laughs> Yeah. How, how do you cope in the community? How do people identify you? Because now I'm confused. <laughs> um, honestly, Monique and I, we do everything together and we are, we are really proud of each other. So, I mean, I don't mind getting called Monique. For me, it's an honor to be called her name. So in terms of the community, they know one of us, they know both of us. In terms of what we do, we do different things within the community, but we have the same goal. So I think it's in terms of recognition and, and recognizing us, my voice is a little bit deeper than hers. Um, but if you know one of us, you've yeah, intentionally uh, met the other one. Cause yeah. We're, yeah. yeah, and uh, you, can, can you tell us again, uh, are you guys married? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but how do your boyfriends uh, recognize, identify um, you guys? You know what, it, we have different personalities, yeah. but in, like the soul of us is the same. So ultimately, like we're individuals, but Bianca and I, we consider ourselves our best, like she's the very best of me. And that's why I, when I look at us, I think of us as a dream team, because I really, really believe that she brings, like enriches my life. and. It makes you know everything. She makes me believe that I can do it, but I believe it even more because we're in it together. Wow. And the guys, the, our partners, um, they just know. I mean, <laughs> they just know where, where our personalities are very different, and so are our partners. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 actually, this is funny. I've I've come across I've, I've come across some articles or some uh, documentaries where I see identical twins saying because we do things together we look alike we want to get married to the same man together. Yeah. Have you ever thought of that? No, yeah. we we have a completely different interests. Yeah. Um, in you know men and um in general although we are very similar I think that the things the qualities we love, we find in a partner ultimately actually quite are the same. Yeah. But the. Hmm, I think in terms of marriage, you know, um, that's that's each of our time to be married to the person that we love, and we wouldn't do that together. For me, it's Mon's day, and for her, it's going to be my day, and that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about. Well, you want it to be the same day? No. No. Oh. No, 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 no. She's very um, like romantic and flowers and love. Wow. I think her wedding will be a very a very different one to mine. So. <laughs> Um, and what is she all, all about? She's just she's the coolest person I know. Like she's she's just a really cool cool person. I think I'll have to bring you back to this program. That's what I will need to talk more on this topic of identical <laughs> twins. Yeah. 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 And thank it's you fun. so much. Uh, this is our community live showing on Channel Thirty One Melbourne every Wednesday. Uh, viewers can watch this program. You can download the app on your phone and watch anywhere over the world. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. And I'd just like to say as well, like, thank you so much to the Universal Peace Federation and to the Women's Federation yes. for World Peace for this incredible opportunity. Thanks. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank Don't you. blink out your eyes. We'll be back. Thank you.